lot of people remember things through smell, or smell takes them places. It's connected usually, I think, to pleasure, and, and also to who you are in this kind of deep animal way. I have an artisanal perfume line, and I make everything myself. I was a psychotherapist in Berkeley for many, many years. I decided I wanted to write a novel and make my main character a perfumer. I started to research perfume and really was charmed. I started to read books from the turn of the last century. I just fell in love with the materials and seemed to have a kind of knack for them. I love natural essences and most perfume is synthetic. I usually start with at least two ingredients that I'm interested in seeing what will happen with each other. A little bit like a chef would think of a meal. I'm usually inspired in relation to those essences to some emotional experience I had that if I was a musician, I'd write music, or if I was a painter, I'd paint a picture. So I made this perfume a couple years ago called Sepia, which was about the smell in my mind of old wood with memories in it. Kind of this old, rounded, rich, a little bit rotting. I try to describe smells in things that are vivid and specific. A person's body chemistry and their history and their memories all change what they're smelling. And I don't make stuff that everybody would like. I'm not wanting to be in the general public, and I'm not. I have materials kind of that no one in the world has. Uh, I have this uh, gardenia from Tahiti. I'm the only person this man sells to. I take a lot of pleasure in finding this very beautiful stuff, and it smells different. I love my book. It's called Fragrant, The Secret Life of Scent. It's about five essences and the deep spiritual human appetites these five essences relate to. Because in the past, people did a lot to bring these smells into their life, and they valued them more, you know? And so I found in my research how precious they were, and also how they drew you back into these very deep experiences. They were the way there. Smelling these things take you somewhere.